Um, yeah, she's like, you're sick, and he's like, Anne Marie, Anne Marie, don't do that. Turn the butter. He looks like Bill Gates, but yeah, his wife is sitting there, she's like, just go back to bed, please, just go back to bed. I was like, you know, life just took a shit on his face, and you tell him go back. He looks <laughs> what like the fuck good is that gonna do? Anyway? I know he looks like the albino powder. He looked like powder. Get him to the hospital immediately. He's dying. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to We Watched Movie. Jay, Mike, The Strain, The Stain. Okay, so a guy's dick fell off. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I want to say. Kick it off with a bang! I don't, I can't. Uh, <laughs> he's like, he's taking his shit out and then he goes to the bathroom, take a piss, and you hear a boom, boom, and I knew it. As soon as he's trying, it's like, it's like, uh, I know. It was like a crying game. It was he was a Ken doll. What came out of it though? Like it that sounded like a, it. it sounded like a special gold coin that dropped into the toilet. But it was like clinks. <laughs> and then like they didn't show it though. You just saw something that looked black. I mean I don't know if his dick was black or what, but well, it, it was, was in the yeah, toilet. It was rotting off. I'm sure it was black. Because I mean, when he showed the doctor, he like revealed his robe, and the guy was like, "Oh!" <laughs> He's like, "That's not good." That's it was like a, a heroin bob in SLC Punk was here. like, "That's the most infected thing I've ever seen." <laughs> he could have just like, "Your dick's gonna fall off if you don't get that fixed." <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, he was normal about that. I mean, he turned around. You, you usually think he's freaked out, but he would be like, "Hey, I'm Ken, anatomically correct. No dick." Okay, let's go. Uh, I guess he thought that was hard rock. He's like, yeah, this is hard rock. He, 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 but it was so smooth, dude. It looked like, I mean, it was just like there was nothing there. I know. And I can't believe they showed it. Now, even though there's nothing there, I mean, it's still... Well, it's maybe just, it's like the Ken doll, you know, like, they don't have a wiener. <laughs> he, he sashayed out of it, though. Like, he showed it to the camera, and he was like, look upon your work. You know what the funny thing would have been? Uh, it would have been funny if they had started playing the Marilyn Manson, the dope show, because remember that video? <laughs> yeah. He had moves and no dick. So yeah, that guy's wiener fell off. They F loses his custody battle. I mean, that's just a small little tiny bit about it. He loses the custody battle. He doesn't get joint custody and he's pissed off. He's like, I bet you're loving this. He's like, you get to go and rub this in my face. I never thought you'd gloat. And he goes, I love my child. And that bitch was gloating. She's like, well, he was doing what was best for you, F. And he's like, he just, I would have been like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but the, the whole scene was kind of stupid, though, because uh, this big serious thing, like, I just want to win the custody battle, I just want to, and then when they sit back down, you would think that his wife's, like, fighting him for custody, like, oh, I don't want you to yeah. see him. But, uh, but they sit down, and she's like, you can see him anytime you want to still, and I was like, well, what was the fucking point, you know? Well, I, that little kid kind of made me mad, because he, I know, he had talked to him about it, I know he didn't try to coach him, and I don't care what, you know, the wife was saying, but it just seemed like the kid betrayed him, and you know, I was looking at him, I was like, I feel so sorry for you, I know you want to look at him like, you little stupid bastard, I told you. <laughs> well, they show the, the first part of it when uh, Voldemort comes out, and he's putting on his makeup, uh, uh, what's his name, Icarus? Icarus. Icarus. But when he comes out, he's putting on his makeup, that looked fucking badass. I like that, that was really cool how they were putting that shit on, but it takes forever, and all the shit that he's doing, it's no wonder that they want to take over the world. Like, if I had to do that shit every morning just to go outside, I'd, I'd want to kill everybody too. I know, especially if you have no nose. When I saw Captain Redman near the end after they go and find him in the in the basement and he's like fully on vampire style and then you know you're looking at Icarus and the way they look I was like something clicked in I know what they look like now Guillermo del Toro I think he did Blade too yeah. they look like the vampires from Blade they yeah. were all underground they had the same tentacle shit the new breed of vampires that's exactly what they looked like so Guillermo del Toro you recycled you bitch <laughs> that's okay though I mean they're cool looking I like that they're not making these vampires little prissy men running around oh yeah they're sparkles. nasty they're like it's like Old school dust till dawn shit. That was fucking. That scene was badass though. Well, you felt bad for the pilot anyway because he's the only like decent guy, and they're looking at him, and he's got you know the spaghetti's all on his chest and shit like that. And then he goes on the loose. Like everybody in the show's so stupid. Like how do you lose the one guy that was like your prime thing? But he goes into the basement, and that scene was badass. I was actually kind of scared. Yeah. And they, the show needed that because the second show really didn't have that much going on for it. And then this one didn't really either up to that point. But then you get in the basement, and you've got this badass scene where the camera work was awesome because the camera's like all shaky and stuff, but not where you couldn't tell what was going on. You got the big fight. Scene and he goes over the he goes over the top a little bit with the expire extinguisher. You know, like eight fucking times. I like that he squished his face. face. Yeah, he's just like, Whoa, he, but it, I'm done. That fucking looked nasty. That was good looking yeah. when they showed like his face after it was done. And that's one thing about the show so far. The makeup effects are just absolutely top notch, badass fun. And then I like Abraham. He had his little court appearance and he basically got like the old man. Like I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I just go out sometimes and I have a sword. Senility. And he's like, I'll melt it down. And I swear to God. And then they let him go. And then he schools that girl. He's like. The bodies. They're, I know where they're going. And she's like, what? He's like, you know, do you think being good is enough? Huh? Do you? And he's like, you gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. And then she's like, he's like, I'm waiting through my time. <laughs> he's Dr. Like, Lewis. Every man. time, if I had seen that dude, though, I would have been one of those guys who'd be like, help me learn the force. The dorky guy who's like, he's in his house and he's, he's feeling oh, bad. Yeah. That scene was, I was waiting on something now. And he's like tapping his teeth and it's like, ow! 
You know what that's like too when you get like a popcorn kernel stuck in there and it just feels loose. Mm. It's just so fucking good. How about just gonna push it and it's just gonna go. You used to ask, you asked me one time, I don't know why I remember this, we were like five years old and we were sitting out in the pool, uh, in the ground pool and it had concrete siding. I'm like, could you imagine if you just trip and just nothing hit the side of the pool oh. on your fucking teeth and you're going, oh. oh. That, <laughs> that's what that reminded me because it's so nasty. But he comes downstairs and his wife, they're so stupid. I heard his like, wife is dumb. Yeah, she's like, you're sick. And he's like, Anne Marie, Anne Marie, don't do that. Turn the butter. He looks like Bill Gates. But yeah, his wife is sitting there. She's like, just go back to bed, please. Just go back to bed. I was like, you know, life just took a shit on his face. And you tell him go to bed. He looks <laughs> like the guy. What the fuck is that going to do? Anyway? I know. He looks like the albino powder. He looked like powder. Get him to the hospital immediately. He's dying. <laughs> like, and then he's drinking blood. And she's like, oh. it looked like she had just caught him jerking his meat. It was just like, it was like, it wasn't like your husband's drinking fucking blood and just go back upstairs looking all white and pale. And that's obviously a clear sign vampire time. And, he's got and a you're sitting there double-sided going, leather tongue. But it just had his, her face was just like. I cannot believe he's still beating his putt after we just had sex. Like it was just like I don't know if that was a bad actress or what, or just she is clearly <laughs> he just walked away like he didn't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, just clearly clueless on everything and trying to deny it. But I don't know. I, I, but obviously that guy's gonna kill his family or something because that's happening. Kevin Durant's that guy just still walking around being a badass. They don't really do anything with this character yet, except for that cool scene when he walks out and you see all the fucking rats. He's a badass actor. I, I don't know like what him. the fuck they're doing with this character yet, but he's a badass actor. Oh, I liked it when he was in that part with though. He's like El Cuba no. It was like because he had those chin so like El Cuba no, the fifty dollar what Cuba. He's like you know, the client wants to give me give me one. It's like back when this neighborhood was in the slums in the nineteen thirties. It was a nice area. They built it right on tap. Right? And then he's like, Why so many? <laughs> he could just kills that guy. I don't I don't remember who that guy even fucking was, but he, he walks just, he's like, Did you want to leave a note? <laughs> that, yeah, that was uh, I think he was the head of the um, public relations for the Oh yeah, that's what it was. Like and that. he comes in and he makes him kill himself and they, when he walked in there he's like, How'd you get in here? He's like, the door was open. He's like, No it wasn't <laughs> That was fucking stupid. But yeah, I mean this episode was better than the last episode. I mean it wasn't terrible, it had a really cool ending, they brought back some of the horror type stuff. Uh, I still haven't seen anything that amounts to the greatness that was. I did like that one thing though when F walked in that guy's house at the little the girl little kill and she he went to that milky red water and was like, oh see it and he picked up the hair and then that girl was like I was like, Rose Red, oh my god. If you had like stringly hair, it was scary. I don't know, that kind of freaked me out, like just the way she popped around the corner. I thought yeah. shit was gonna get cray cray right there. I think he knew to get the fuck out. Like I mean he got the phone call, he's like, I'll be right there. But that was like, that was one of those excuses though. He was really scared. He was like, I'll be right there. Like, well, like, we're done here. I gotta right go. Here. Things have happened. Uh, yeah, so I liked uh, I liked this episode a lot. I thought it was like a 9.0 for me. It's an 8.0 for me. Just a little like better than last week's, but it's still pretty good. So yeah, comment down below, guys. What do you guys think about the strain? What do you think's happening? Do you like the show still so far? Are you still intertwined after three episodes? And uh, that's it. Comment below. Let us know. I'm Mike DJ. We'll see you guys next time. Intertwined deep sexual. within the cockles of your heart. We watched the